Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about authoritarianism, dictatorship, uh, mass movements, and the question really that I'm going to address is why is it that we're experiencing the, experiencing the kinds of upheaval in 2020? Is it due to governments that are doing this? Is it to shady conspiratorial forces that are reshaping society? Or is it because of us? So let me read to you a nice excerpt from somebody else. Um, it's very short. Bear with me here. In reading the history of nations, we find that, like individuals, they have whims and peculiarities. Their seasons of excitement and recklessness when they care not what they do. We find that whole communities suddenly fix their minds upon one object and go mad in its pursuit. That millions of people become simultaneously impressed with one delusion and run after it, till their attention is caught by some new folly more captivating than the first. We see one nation suddenly seized from its highest to its lowest members with a fierce desire of military glory, another as suddenly becoming crazed upon a religious scruple, and neither of them recovering its senses until it has shed rivers of blood and sowed a harvest of groans and tears to be reaped by its posterity. Now the interesting thing about this is it was written in 1841. It's Charles McKay's first words in his large book, Memoirs of Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds. And it doesn't even have the 20th century madness of crowds that most of us know much better than what he's even talking about in here, because he's referring to stuff that's really out of our, our historical background and, and familiarity. What he's talking about here, when we typically imagine authoritarianism, we imagine some great powerful leader, maybe charismatic, that comes in and controls the populace top down. Or we imagine some conspiratorial organizations or powerful rich figures that control the people. But in reality, what almost always happens, even when those things potentially are partly true, the real story is in the delusions of the populace, and that the populace has gone through kind of a, a, a mass psychosis and become new and changed. That's the only thing that allows these other forces to even potentially move society or shape it. It's because they've already decided the populace has become like a new religion, has brought something in and changed the way the society thinks. So what's going on in 2020 regarding masks and lockdowns, which I have been claiming if you follow me on Twitter, is a new kind of cult. It's a new kind of mass movement, like a cultural revolution. Is it because of top-down forces? Or is it because of, sort of bottom-up changes in the way that the psychosocietal, psychosocietal forces are acting, which are complicated, and things I've talked about in terms of these de decentralized reputation mechanisms and narratives and so forth? Which is it? Well, we know that in England, when it first started, the government first said, look, we need to aim for herd immunity, we need to protect the vulnerable, and the populace was not going to have it. The media, the social media, they attacked them. They had to back down. Another way to see it, and this has happened other places as well, the only reason Sweden backed down, and Sweden, by the way, has had comparable, unremarkable numbers compared to their own historical uh, 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 curbs, epidemic curbs each year. The only reason that Sweden, or one of the big reasons that Sweden is, didn't bend and do lockdowns, these harsh uh, interventions that other countries did, was because it's in their constitution. They are not allowed to do that. Otherwise, they probably would have bent. Another way to see it is this. Right now, just think about masks. Ask yourself, are people wearing the masks in fewer instance, instances than you would expect, or are they wearing them even beyond the mandates? What you'll find, at least where I've been and traveled in the country, is that People are almost to a man and a woman wearing their masks where they're supposed to. You'll barely see anybody in any supermarket, any restaurant, in the wrong occasion, not wearing a mask. They are all wearing a mask and often wearing two, wearing it over their nose religiously, and you will be scolded if you don't. The, the key point here is that you'll see them wearing them beyond what's required. They're wearing them in the car, like I just was. 
They're wearing them when walking around the streets. They're wearing them in the park. They're wearing them in the beach. They're scolding you when it's not even their job. It's not their, it's not their company, that they're, the restaurant that they're in, but they're also, still the other customers will scold you. They're going above and beyond the mandates by far. This is one of hundreds of signs that what's going on today is a mass movement that's pushing upwards and shaping things, not top down. And that changes how we have to deal with this. And that was your science moment.